What's going on guys and welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at the M5A5 assault rifle and how it performs. Now clearly all the weapons in the beta have absolutely no recoil at all and clearly all the weapons perform very good at certain distances but I just thought I'd share my thoughts with you on this weapon because so far it's my favorite one to use and it's really really effective. Granted that this weapon stays the same when the game fully releases. Now for the weapon attachments itself my current go-to like many others would have to be the foregrip and the red dot sight if not just the iron sights since they don't bug me very much on this weapon but I feel like whatever optic you want to use I'm sure one won't outweigh the other but at a distance and close quarters I still feel comfortable using the red dot. Now this weapon reminded me a lot of the M16 A3 from Battlefield 3 just a good all-around assault rifle that is easy to pick up and rack up kills with and I feel like people would agree with me on that. There's no learning curve to this weapon at all just yet since Dice is saying that the beta build is one to two months old so I can see some weapon changes affecting this weapon when the game releases but you never know. Dice could leave it as is when the full game launches and if it does this will definitely be a strong assault rifle to use day one but if you haven't already tried this weapon and not much of an assault player I'd highly recommend trying it out seeing as it's the most popular weapon to use on the beta right now it's dependable and it gets the job done. I haven't spent much time with the AK so I can't really compare it to this weapon so I'm going to be trying that out later and then you guys know how that one is in a separate video but I hope you guys are having some fun on the beta it's not perfect in any way but i feel like the gunplay is really reminiscent of battlefield 4 and hardline for me it's definitely a lot of fun and very satisfying when you kill people but i feel like dice should have added breakthrough so you can pick between two game modes conquest just in my opinion isn't for me people are just way too spread out especially on orbital being such a massive map i think breakthrough would be a little bit more enjoyable and obviously more chaotic with 128 players and definitely more engaging but i'm still excited for the full launch of the game but that's about it guys i just wanted to share my thoughts on this weapon Give to try if you haven't used this one i highly recommend it as always guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy the rest of the video maybe consider leaving a like if you did enjoy it it really helps me out also if you're new to the channel and looking for more 2042 content in the future maybe consider subscribing stay safe guys play the objective and i'll catch you guys in the next one